You may have heard the terms sprung weight and unsprung weight before, likely when people are talking about their all-out track cars. But what does it actually mean in the real world? A car's sprung weight is the weight of everything that the suspension supports. The engine, gearbox, chassis, body and interior are all sprung weight. Unsprung weight, on the other hand, is the mass of the suspension and below, as it refers to everything that is not able to be dampened by the suspension. Tires, wheels, hubs and arms are all part of that category. Just to make matters that little bit more complicated, there's also such things as semi-sprung part. Those are simply things that are connected to both a sprung and unsprung part. For instance, a drive shaft is semi-sprung as it's connected to a gearbox and a wheel. So what use do these definitions have then? Well, as car enthusiasts, we want to make sure that we've got a higher ratio of sprung to unsprung weight as this means that the sprung weight can help to push down on the unsprung weight and give the wheels more grip as the car moves. On the flip side, it's also a goal for every petrolhead to minimalize the amount of unsprung weight as it makes for a car that handles and steers better. This is due to the fact that the lighter unsprung setup can react to small bumps and imperfections in the road more quickly, allowing it to maintain grip more constantly, therefore improving handling. However, the trade-off to this is that as the unsprung weight reacts more quickly, it can transfer more motion to the cabin and ultimately make the ride less comfortable. Those are the basics of sprung versus unsprung weight. What other terms and parts do you want us to explain next?